One of the hottest topics right now is design handoff, which is supposed to be simple, but most of the times isn't. The thing is, it's really connected to collaboration and communication. And if the communication is not done well, then you have problems. I mean, as a developer, have you ever been in a situation where you finished building a feature only to get notified by the designers that you actually have to rework on it because they forgot to upload the final design? Or maybe you built a component that was already built by someone else in the company? Yeah, I'd been into those situations multiple times. So how can we make sure that the designers and developers are kept in sync most of the times? Well, my name is Jan Braga, I'm one of the Storybook maintainers, and today I'm here to show you how Storybook and Zeppelin might just be the answer to your problems. Zeppelin is an easy to use platform that serves as a single source of truth. The designers publish finalized designs to Zeppelin, which can be organized, categorized and become easily accessible to non-designers. Developers will get code snippets and specs, like spacings, colors, assets and more. Zeppelin also provides integration to tools like Slack, Jira, Storybook and more. Alright, so let's get to it. Um, I've got this application, which is a, an app that contains very interesting UI components like this restaurant card, as well as this category component. And throughout the pages, there are many different components. And I've got them set up in Storybook so that actually I have a very nice overview of all the UI components in the application. And for instance, the category component has these expanded variant as well as a rounded variant. Uh, I've got also the restaurant cart, which has different variants, which are pretty easy to replicate on Storybook. And I've even got a full page uh, so I can see all of the components right there on Storybook. That's pretty cool. Uh, together with that, I also have the entire component library in Figma, as well as the screens. And basically the question is, how do I connect these two together, right? How do I make them synchronized? Well, it's pretty simple because Zeppelin actually has a Figma plugin that allows you to export all of your designs directly into Zeppelin. And once you've done that, you will get this nice overview of your screens as well as the components. You also have uh, information about your design tokens, which is pretty cool. And then you have this visual overview of every single component which was defined in your component library. And that's pretty awesome. So if I go back to the dashboard and select one screen like the home page, not only I have access to the specs of the, th the things I see in the screen, but at the bottom right, I also see this reusable component section, which shows me which components are reusable, uh, which means that they're part of the style guide. But uh, there's also this new feature on, at the bottom left, you see hide components. So if you click on it, you can actually show the components which are highlighted. So if you click on it, it will highlight them because they're part of a style guide. And that's pretty interesting because it tells me as a developer that these components were thought as reusable components by the designers. So they are actually properly organized in the design system. However, I still feel like I need more because I only get this information in the design side of things. But what about the code, right? How can I do that? Well, basically Storybook and Zeppelin, they already had a add-on. It's called Storybook Zeppelin. And it was actually built by uh, a Zeppelin maintainer. And this add-on essentially allows you to integrate Zeppelin into Storybook. Uh, and by the way, the links will be in the, below in the description in case you want to follow together with me. So once you set up the add-on, all you have to do is to get the link of your component and tie it together to your Storybook story. In order to get the link, all you have to do is, once you have a, a component selected, you go into its detail page, and then on the right, you will see this link. So once you copy it, so let me just show you quickly an example. So I've got a category stories, which contains a link directly to the expanded and the small uh, variants of it. And basically, I when I go to Storybook and I open the add-ons panel, on the top right, I see Zeppelin, which essentially gives me the design, the information about when it was last updated as well as if I click on this button, it will actually project the image on top of my component. 
So it works pretty similar to the pop-out feature from Zeppelin, where I can actually change the opacity and see that there's something odd there that I have to fix. I can also click on this button, which will kind of like show me exactly what is the difference that I should fix as well. And if I click on the button on this image, I will actually be redirected to the page of that component. And then from there, I can actually access the specs to use and fix my problem. And this essentially gives you a connection from Zeppelin into your storybook. But what about the other way? There is a project from Zeppelin from some time ago, which is a CLI to try to automatically um, connect your components to Storybook. However, they released something much better and more automated. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So if you go back to Zeppelin in your homepage, for instance, um, let me go to the dashboard. On the right, you will see a option called integrations. And essentially you have this connect to Storybook option. And over here, all you have to do is to paste a URL for Storybook. That could also be a localhost URL, but in this case, I'm going to be using my Chromatic URL because I'm using Chromatic to host my Storybook. So I've got it right over here. Let me just paste it. And what this will do is essentially Zeppelin will get all of the metadata from Storybook and try to compose this page where it will show you actually embedded stories directly in here. And on the right side, I see my style guide. So this is actually a real life component from my storybook. Um, so if I go to the category component, for instance, uh, given the fact that I already had specified the, the links right here, they will 100% match. I'm just going to approve the variants right here. Um, but if I didn't do anything on the storybook side, for instance, this badge component, uh, Zeppelin will try to uh, connect the title of your story with some heuristics and it will provide you a suggestion. In this case, it nailed it. So I'm just going to approve it. And maybe just one more, the restaurant card, for instance, I'm going to approve this as well. Once you do all of that for your whole components and you go back to the same design that you had before. And this time, if you highlight the components again, you can also use the shortcut option C on Mac. You will now have Apart from the blue components, you will also get the green ones. So basically what that means is you can also see in this helper uh, icon right here, the, the blue components are connected to the style guides and that you already know. Now the green components are actually connected to code. And if I, for instance, select the category component, it will give me some information on the right side, but it will also embed the actual component right over here. And this is mind blowing because as a designer, I can actually just click on this button that opens storybook and I get this overview of the component and all its, all of its variants as well. Uh, but I can like change some properties and see if the component works fine. I can change, I can test some accessibility features and make sure that the component is working well. And that's just great. And also there is a button right here in the properties part, which will actually pop the design of the component, as well as the variance of the component. For instance, how does it look on dark mode? I can actually see it right here. And this is incredible because from the design of the page, I can actually access all of those features. And this is accessible for any non-technical and even non-designer person. And that's just amazing. Uh, but for developers specifically, what you can actually also have as extra features is not only you get access to the snippet of the component, which put, which could be pretty helpful, but you also have this feature called open in VS code. And if you click on the button, it will actually open the source of that component directly in your machine. How awesome is that? <laughs> so once you have all of those things, it will certainly make things better. Um, and there's the connection is going to be like so synchronized. But talking about synchronization, how can this actually keep in sync, given the fact that designers and developers keep on making changes, right? I mean, what if a developer, for instance, uh, changes the name of a story from small to rounded, let's see, and commits that, for instance. And in this case, um, given the fact that I'm using Chromatic, I can actually just push my changes or just run this chrom uh, chromatic command and it will essentially make a new build, 
which will update the statics in my storybook, which is hosted on the cloud, will also be updated. And, and then I can check if changes are actually uh, correct. So given that I run chromatic, and what this will do, once again, it will upload a new build on my Chromatic. Uh, but also, apart from having this host functionality, Chromatic will also do some visual regression testing. So in case I make changes to my components, it will compare with the previous version and tell the designers um, whether there were some changes or not. And this starts the UI review process. Pretty helpful feature on Chromatic. So once this build is done, we can go back to Zeppelin and just refresh to make sure. But given that the storybook which is published should be up updated, then the informa information will be tried to fetched, will not sync, and Zeppelin should be telling me, let me toggle this up. Yeah, so as you can see here, Zeppelin should be telling me that there's something wrong with this component specifically. The thing is, it says that there's a link with an issue, and then I can click on this button to fix it. So the component was category and the, the name was small, which was changed later to rounded. So the Zeppelin couldn't know exactly what happened, but it told me that there was a problem and here I'm able to fix it. And once I do that, uh, going back to my screen and toggling the highlight once again, just works. And these are the features from Zeppelin to help you connect design to code, essentially giving you a full circle of connection between designers and developers Zeppelin and Storybook. So that's it everyone. Hopefully no more problems between designers and developers. And I hope that you're excited about the features as much as I am. Make sure to subscribe and follow for more updates and I will see you next time.